This is Ramon Thomas and you are watching the Psychology of Technology channel. There is an incident uh, that's been discussed uh, quite vociferously, uh, quite vocally on Twitter um, with the hashtag rape video and I'd like to make some comments and perhaps offer some solutions in this short video. Uh, why is this relevant to the psychology of technology is that uh, in the news reports um, they are making statements that the boys that have been apprehended, the six boys who have raped this girl with the mental aptitude of a four-year-old and uh, they, w they filmed the video so there is some video evidence of the crimes that have been perpetrated. Now this is shocking this is very very shocking and uh, when I read the front page article on the Star newspaper in Johannesburg it became clear that this is not the first time that this girl's been raped she's been raped by a taxi driver and she's been raped uh, at least uh, you know on two other occasions her mother is a domestic worker and is very saddened by the news as can be expected but can we entirely blame the boys for their actions surely the the parents knowing that this girl is disabled, knowing that she doesn't have her full mental faculties, she doesn't perhaps know um, what certain things are, what certain things mean when people ask her, and surely help should have been called in in the form of um, social services, child line, not on the first incident, at least on the second incident, but now it's the third or the fourth or, you know, we don't know how many times this has actually happened to this poor young girl. So what I want to talk about more specifically here is that I have a very strong suspicion. I, I, I really do believe that um, if we could just find out the history of these boys, I think there is a very, light, very high likelihood that they were raised by single mothers. And why is this an issue? This is an issue because according to the work and the research and the books of Dr. Warren Farrell, an American expert on men's and women's issues who's written numerous books and he's been featured on Oprah numerous times, and he has found strong evidence linking uh, crimes in teenage, uh, teenage boys and adolescents uh, to the lack of a father, not the lack of a father figure, not the lack of a boyfriend, but actually having a committed father that's involved in the lives of raising their children. And I really w would like to recommend a book that he uh, wrote in 2001 called Father and Child Reunion. This is such an important book and he raises many, many issues in this book. Uh, I want to just read uh, a segment of the summary on Amazon.com. It says, based on 13 years of research, father and child reunion, how to bring the dads we need to the children we love, will force a re-examination of the circumstances in which dad or mum is best for the children. For starters, some findings on children with single parents. Children do better with single fathers than with single mothers. Boys both boys and girls are happier, healthier and do better psychologically and academically as well as socially. Even characteristics such as empathy are exhibited more by children brought up by single fathers. Single fathers experience less stress juggling children and work than they do single mothers. With family structures, what family structures are most likely to be in the child's best interest? Dr. Farrell suggests the following ranking. The intact family the shared parent time, joint physical custody, primary father time, and lastly, primary mother time. So you can read the summary on Amazon.com. You can read interviews by Dr. Farrell. You can also Google videos by him. And to me, a part of the solution, besides the complaints about society going down the drain and about... Uh, all sorts of problems with crime and abuse of women in South Africa. Let's let's really focus on the issue. The issue is a crime was committed. The boys have been caught. I'm not sure if the police have actually found the girl. I think in the most extreme case, she may be dead already, um, especially if they were convinced that she might um, be able to identify them later on in the court of law. 
but I don't want to speculate further on, on her safety. What I do want to comment on is specifically the outcry that is bound to take place on what needs to be done to boys, what needs to be done to these boys in prison. I'm sure that they will experience um, difficulties when they go to prison. I don't know how else to put it. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you realize of the high incidence of rape that takes place um, of men on men in the prisons in South Africa. So I don't need to say much about that. What I do want to say next, and I think most importantly, is that if you are a mother, if you are a woman, and you are watching this video, please do not underestimate the role of fathers. Please do not underestimate the role of having the, the, the father of your children involved in the lives of your children. I was less than two years old when my mother and father divorced. And because my father is a lifelong alcoholic, I think I was protected from potential long-term abuse, whether it's verbal or psychological or physical abuse because of the erratic behavior that alcoholism causes. So in the case of these boys, besides um, them being locked up in a prison, what they really need as well is counseling. It is work, it is some kind of help, some kind of program to help them understand what they did and help them develop the skills, the empathy, whatever has been missing in their lives because something has been missing in their lives that has led them to this place where they have committed this crime and if they've committed it once and I can also guarantee you based on the work the study of the work of Dr. Warren Farrell and other books like Iron John and Manhood and also working with hundreds of men over the last few years coaching them on how to be mature and how to take responsibility for their lives. If these boys are themselves abused and raped in prison, when they come out of prison, they will be very, very angry boys. And there will be consequences because the cycle will continue. So instead of asking the government or the police to take revenge on behalf of the girl by punishing these boys we need to help them we need to help them to recover and to reform and I think people like Marlon Parker and the work that is done in Cape Town with the R Labs uh, community is the ideal examples of how people and how men specifically how they can be how, how they can help to reconstruct their own lives and the lives of their communities. So I really appeal to you to, to post your comments and share your comments about what you think um, can be done with these boys. What do you think can be done in terms of their relationships going forward with their mother and their father in particular? What's the relevance of that? And also in your own lives. What is the relevance of your father? How important is your relationship with your father versus your mother? And what lessons have you learned by being with him or not being with him? This is really one of the key lessons I've learned growing up with a single mother, having to figure out so many things for myself. It's really important that we pay attention to the roles of fathers, the roles of dads, the roles of men in society. That's one of the key ways how we can reduce the incidence of rape because boys will get to learn how to be men. They need to learn that from men. They cannot learn that from women. They cannot learn that from their mothers. So I look forward to your feedback, your comments and your questions. This is Ramon Thomas and you're watching the Psychology of Technology channel. After this, I will show you some images of some recommended books in this area.